Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tailgate Kings here, and look, it's menu time, but it's week four also. If you've been watching football, playing fantasy football, it might be a little rough, man. I mean, uh, half my team's injured, Chad. I don't know about yours. I think everybody's got cracked ribs, uh -huh. toes, fingers, thumbs, um, ankles. We've seen quarterbacks go down. We've seen wide receivers, running backs, everything. If you've still got a healthy fantasy team, you're doing way better than us. But with that in mind, Chad, I think... Uh, I think ribs might be in order, huh? Why not? Why not? Ribs and Why wouldn't we do that? Why ribs? wouldn't we smoke some ribs? We'll smoke some ribs. Everybody in the NFL been smoking ribs. We're going to smoke some ribs. There we go. And on top of that, you know, hey, look, we're still a little healthy, too. So we do a little, uh, what, uh, a grapefruit? Uh, yeah, a grapefruit and arugula salad with some, right. some trail mix for all you Callies. There, there we go. There we go. All right, so get ready because uh, here we go. If you, hey, if you don't love these ribs, you'll be, I don't know what you're Come on, man. I don't know how to help you. All right. Me. Tell you, Kings, cooking in three Two, one, go. All right, so let's start by reducing our pineapple juice. Just get that in a big pot, heat it up. Like I said, start getting that going. Now we're gonna get our vegetables ready to roast. Get them in some oil, some salt, a little pepper. That's right. Then you're gonna mix them about. Like I said, make sure they get nicely coated in the oil, salt and pepper and whatnot. Then we're gonna take them, add them into the oven. Like I said, make sure that you get them up to about 400 degrees so you can roast them. Now we'll get to our grapefruit. All right, we want to make sure, like I said, if you never really cut a grapefruit all apart, you want to make sure we're just getting to the meat of the fruit. You can see here, Chef, just getting it all the way, and then we're going to get it slice by slice, and we're going to get those veins even out of the beet. That way, we're just getting the meat. That's right, getting all those little veins and, and the other viscera out of the grapefruit. Whatever you got left over, juice, because we're going to use that juice later for our vinaigrette, so go ahead and get that all juiced up in there ready to go and then you can take some of your other peels over here juice more juice more there see take some of your other peels here we're gonna get off just to the rind here so we can get some zest here like i said see get it right right nice and tight looking really good we're gonna use that later for our zest chop it up get some we'll leave some looking just like that but the rest of this right now we're gonna dice up even more like I said, we're going to use this grapefruit six different ways, it feels like. That's right, Chef knows how to use the grapefruit. He's going to rock it up, but here, we're really said, we're going to mince it down, get it nice and minced, and we're going to add in some uh, some fresh garlic, a little parsley, a little lemon zest as well. And we're going to take all that, add a little roasted garlic to it, and throw it into our reducing pineapple juice. That's right, get that little apple cider, cider vinegar as well, stir it all up, let it go. Then we're going to get ready for our candy zest. So we're going to, our candy grapefruit zest, add a little sugar to some boiling water here. Like I said, add the zest then, and they'll come out looking like that. That's what we want. That's what we want. Now our ribs, the main, the star of the attraction. After you pat them down, coat them with a little oil. Like I said, add just for now, just some salt and some pepper. All right, because we're going to take these bad boys out to the grill, and we're going to sear them. So like I said, lay them down on one side, let them sear. While they're searing, we're gonna check on our peppers. Oh man, look at those peppers. Those are looking so good, man, so good. Listen to them, can you hear them? Woo, all right. Yeah, now like I said, de-vein them, de-seed them. Get them ready to go. Add them to your reduced pineapple juice as well there and we're going to take all that in a second we're going to blend it but first go back out flip your ribs sear them on the other side let's get that dry rub ready while the ribs are finishing up you'll see on the side there or on the video there we've got the, the different ingredients for the dry rub brown sugar salt pepper chili powder onion powder garlic powder ground mustard cayenne cinnamon cumin thyme like i said get it all Get all there, add it all together, and then we're gonna mix it up. Mix it up so it's nice, fully mixed. There we go, looking good. Like I said, now we'll pull those ribs off. We'll set them to the side, let them cool for a second. Perfect. Take our pineapple mixture, we're gonna put it in our blender, and we're gonna blend that up, right? We're gonna blend it up right, right and nice. That's gonna be the base for our pineapple habanero barbecue sauce, that's right. Get in there, add a little ketchup now. Stir that up and let that continue to simmer. Just let it just continue to simmer for a little bit. First, Chef, let's taste it. What do you think? 
It's sweet. Oh yeah, it is. Oh yeah, it is. All right, so let's get our basting base. All right, a little grape jelly, a little Dijon mustard, and of course, jam and jellies, hot sauce. That's right. We're gonna mix that all up. Mix it all up good. Perfect. And then we're gonna put it on top of our ribs. There we go. Rub it down in there. Get it all on every crevice. That's right. We want that good sauce all over coating those ribs. Mm, yeah. Oh man. Then take your your spice mix. Just add that to it. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh man. I'm telling you. Here we go. You ready? Look at this, man. I'm telling you. Jackson Pollock couldn't make food look that good. Take your ribs. Put them off the heat to the sides. We're gonna smoke them now for about three hours or so. Might as well get your salad going. Chop up that cucumber for your grapefruit arugula salad. Here you can see what we're gonna need for our dressing. Grapefruit juice, extra virgin olive oil, a couple cloves of roasted garlic, a little honey, salt and pepper to taste. That's the consistency you're looking for there. Looking really good. All right, let's put the salad together. Arugula, candy zest, grapefruit, cucumbers, nuts. Toss it in that vinaigrette. That's right, looking really good. All right, time to check the ribs. Oh, man, look at those ribs. Pull those babies off, Chad. Pull them off, man, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. All right, pull off the ribs. We'll let them rest for a second. Let them rest inside. Oh, man, looking so I good. Don't, I don't, I don't what do you think, it, Chef? I don't have it in me to be better than this. Oh, yeah, now let's chop them up. All right, yeah, one by one. Individual ribs looking fantastic. Look at that. Go, baby. Mmm. Mmm. I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to eat. What about you, Jenny? <laughs> yeah. That's what we want. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Are you hungry? Oh, all right. Let's plate it up. Salad with the pineapple barbecue sauce on the side here. And then we'll throw some ribs on the plate. Looking good. Mm. You ready for your tailgate party? You ready for your tailgate party? I bet you are, man. Look at those ribs. Are you ready? Oh, bam, dude. All right, look. You have it. Look, you already saw it. Jenny already took a bite. You saw how much she enjoyed it. So get ready, Chad. Why don't you just Okay, go what are we going to do this? about this? What we are we going to do All right, look, about this? There we go, man. I mean, the IR ribs with the great food ah. arugula salad. Look. And, and we got this uh, pineapple barbecue sauce that you forgot to tell you about. I mean, yeah. look, there's all sorts of goodness here. Get ready to go. We made the sauce. Hey, it's look. not out of the bottle. Be sure to like the video, subscribe, Tailgate Kings, thetailgatekings.com. Find the recipes, find the podcast on Spotify, find us on all your social media. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to know what you'd like us to cook next. Yes. <laughs>